In this video, we're going to focus on writing equations of lines that are parallel and perpendicular to a given line, but passing through a point. So let's say if we have the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1, and we want to write the equation of a line that's parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 1, and that passes through the point 1 comma 5. How can we do it? Well, for this particular example, let's use the slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. m represents the slope, which is rise over run, and b is the y-intercept. So for this particular example, you need to realize that the slope of the other line is 2, and parallel lines have the same slope. So the slope of the line that we're trying to find also has a value of 2, so let's replace m with 2. Now, what we need to solve for is b, the y-intercept. So let's plug in x and y. So let's replace y with 5 and x with 1. So we have 5 is equal to 2 plus b. So to solve for b, we need to subtract 2 from both sides. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So b is equal to 3. Now, once you have the value of b, Go back to the original equation in slope and intercept form and replace b and m, but leave x and y alone. So then the equation that we're looking for is y is equal to 2x plus 3, and that's the answer. Go ahead and try this example. Let's say that y is equal to 3x minus 4. And you want to write the equation of the line that's parallel to this line. And that passes through the point 6, 4. So feel free to pause the video, work through this example, and then unpause it to see if you have the right answer. So let's begin. So starting with the equation y is equal to mx plus b, let's replace m with the slope. And let's solve for b. And let's plug in uh, x which is 6, and 4 for y. So 4 is equal to 3x plus... Well, 4 is equal to 3 times 6 plus b. So 3 times 6 is 18. And if we subtract 18 from both sides, we could see that the value of b is going to be 4 minus 18, which is negative 14. So now we can write the equation of the line. So it's going to be y is equal to... Let's plug in m and b. So m is 3, so y is equal to 3x minus 14. And so that's how you can write the equation in slope intercept form. Try this example. y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 3. And this time, let's say the point is 4, negative 3. So Go ahead and write the equation of the line that is parallel to this line and passes through the point 4, comma, negative 3. And feel free to write the equation in point-slope form. So what I'm going to do is use the point-slope equation, which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So I'm going to write the equation in point-slope form first, and then I'm going to convert it to slope-intercept form. So this is x1, and this is going to be y1. And the slope is still 3 over 2. It's the number in front of x. So let's plug in y1. Let's replace it with negative 3. And let's substitute m for 3 over 2. And x1 is 4. Now, whenever you have two negative signs next to each other, it's going to change into a positive sign. So what we now have is y plus 3. And let's distribute the 3 halves to x minus 4. 3 over 2 times x, that's going to be 3 over 2x. And what's 3 over 2 times 4? So 3 halves times 4 over 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So this is going to be negative 6. So the next thing we need to do is, well, this is the answer in point slope form, by the way. Here it is. I should have mentioned that. It's y plus 3 equals 3 over 2x minus 4. That's the equation in point slope form. Now, once you distribute the 3 over 2, you're going to convert it into slope and intercept form. 
So to finish it, all I need to do is subtract both sides by 3. So the answer in slope intercept form is y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 9. If you use the method that we used in the first two examples, this is the answer you should get. But in point slope form, it should be like this, but it's just going to be y plus 3 equals to what's on the right side. Now try this one. Let's say if y is equal to 5x minus 3, and we have the point 2, negative 1. So here are the instructions. Let's see. You want to write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y equals 5x minus 3, but passes through the point 2, comma, negative 1. What do you need to do? The first thing you need to do is ch you need to change the slope. For a parallel line, the slopes are the same, but if it's perpendicular, the slope is going to change from 5 over 1 to 1 over 5 with a negative sign. So you need to flip the fraction, and you need to change the positive sign to a negative sign. Now all you need to write the equation of the line is the slope and a point that passes through the line. Once you have those two things, you can write the equation of the line. So let's do it, but let's do it in point slope form, and then we'll convert it to slope intercept form. So using the equation y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So x1 is going to be 2, y1 is negative 1. So y minus negative 1 is equal to negative 1 over 5 times x minus 2. So on the left we have y plus 1. And on the right we have negative 1 over 5 x minus 2. So this is the answer in point slope form. But now let's go ahead and get the answer in slope intercept form. So let's distribute the negative 1 over 5. So it's going to be y plus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 5x. And then negative 1 fifth times negative 2, that's going to be positive 2 over 5. And now let's subtract both sides by 1. So on the left side, all we have is y. And on the right side, we have negative 1 fifth x plus 2 over 5. Now negative 1 is the same as negative 5 over 5 if we uh, convert it so we can get common denominators. Negative 5 over 5, when you divide them, you get negative 1. And so, since the denominator is the same, we can now combine the numerators of the fractions. So, 2 over 5 minus 5 over 5. Well, 2 minus 5 is negative 3, so this is going to be negative 3 over 5. So, this is the equation in slope-intercept form. So what about this one? y is equal to 3 over 4x minus 1. And let's say it passes through the point 8, negative 3. So, and let's say it's perpendicular to the line 3 over 4x minus 1. How can you write the equation of the new line? So this time, let's use the slope-intercept equation, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So we got to find a slope. It's going to change from 3 over 4 to, we got to flip the fraction, so it's going to be 4 thirds, and change the sign from positive to negative. So this is the slope of the perpendicular line, which we're trying to find. So, and let's plug in x for 8, y for negative 3, and let's isolate, or let's solve for b. So negative 3 is equal to negative 4 thirds times 8 plus the y-intercept, which is b. So to get rid of the fraction, let's multiply everything by 3, whatever this denominator is. So 3 times negative 3, that's going to be negative 9. And 3 times negative 4 thirds times 8, the 3's are going to cancel, so you're just going to get negative 4 times 8. And then 3 times b, that's going to be 3b. So negative 4 times 8, that's negative 32. And let's make some space. Now let's add 32 to both sides. So on the right side, we just have 3b. And on the left side, 32 minus 9 is 23. 
So if we divide both sides by 3, we can get the value of b. So b is going to be equal to 23 over 3. And so now we have the equation. It's going to be y, which is equal to the slope, negative 4 thirds x plus the y-intercept, 23 over 3. So this is the answer. So here's the final example for today. y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4 with the point 6, negative 2. So go ahead and find the equation or write the equation of the line that's perpendicular to the line negative 2 thirds x plus 4 and pass this through the point 6, negative 2. So I'm going to use the slope intercept form again. So y is equal to mx plus b. So the slope is going to change from negative 2 thirds to positive 3 over 2 if we're looking for the perpendicular line. And so let's plug in 6 for x and negative 2 for y. So negative 2 is equal to 3 over 2, that's the new slope, times the value of x, which is 6, plus b. So what's 3 halves times 6? Six divided by two, that's three. Three times three is nine. So three halves times six is nine. And to isolate B, we need to subtract both sides by nine. So negative two minus nine is negative 11. So B is equal to negative 11. So now all we gotta do to write the answer is plug in M and B. So M is three over two, and B is negative 11. So this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form.